Hi Gemini, welcome to your monthly um, uh, <laughs> welcome to your solar eclipse in Cancer special with me, Raphael Ray from Radiant Reality. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for being here. I would like to bless my notes and the cards that I will use with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So. As I always tell you, I am a baby astrologer, I'm a neophyte, I've been reading tarot for over half my life. Um, I have not been doing astrology as long as that. These are kind of like practice, but they're also my personal take on the transits that take place. And remember guys, although these are big and they are massive, please check out the key to the eclipses video that will be up as well. It's gonna be important to flesh out what I'm saying. Um, and also, um, don't forget that these transits don't work alone. There's always something else going on in your chart. There's always something else happening in the cosmos. Um, so just keep that in mind. So, the solar eclipse in Cancer takes place, Gemini, in your second house. Money, 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 money. Um, <laughs> I got that from a program, and I do know the song. I'm unfortunately that old. <laughs> um, the second house. So the second house is about your money. It's about what you earn. It's about how you earn it. It's about um, your values. It sees you asking yourself what you value, what is truly important to you and why you place the value in that. Um, the solar eclipse can bring you a blessing. Um, you know, because this is the solar eclipse is about a beginning of some sort. It brings an initiatory energy. It brings you the opportunity to have or create something. Um, and it usually does this by enforcing some kind of change, you know. Um, and this is why I say I can't go into all of that why now. Watch the key video because it will help, I, I believe. So this can see you getting a gift, something that you can touch, something that you can spend, something that you can admire. You know, the second house is ruled by Venus, actually. Um, and it's, you know, it's things that are beautiful. It's things that are earthy and sensual and, and loving. And it's about your security through your finances. It's about, you know, what you can spend. It's about what you, you know, what you earn and how you earn it and how important those things are to you. Um, the solar eclipse is gonna bring you some kind of mini crisis point that may come in the form of realizing what you are wasting your money on. And it can also see you um, asking yourself, am I placing my value in the wrong things or in the wrong people? Um, you know, because the second house is, is about what you value. And sometimes the things that we value, we come to realize, especially under a solar eclipse, actually, I don't value that, not as much as I thought I did. I don't need it as much as I thought I did. And actually, that's a waste of my resources, inner and outer. You know, it's, it's gonna give you the ability to really look at that stuff. And it's the same with people, you know, the people that we value, that we surround ourselves with, you know, as, along with your self-esteem, your self-worth, are all directly linked to what you can earn and how. You know, when you go into a job interview, if you're wearing Adidas track pants, trainers, and you've got a backwards cap on, and you're interviewing to, I don't know, work in an office, what you value, how you present yourself, you know, second house, how you dress yourself, all of that stuff is gonna come into stark focus. And this is gonna see you getting really serious about that. Um, this may come, uh, <laughs> you could purchase something just before, just around the eclipse, and then have like that buyer's remorse and say, well, actually, I don't like or want or even need this at all. Why have I got it, you know? And if anything, that's actually a good thing because it's highlighted the changes that are already taking place with you. And that's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. It's, you know, you know I mean, maybe if you spent a bit much on it and you then regret it, if you can, take it back. If you've got the receipt, awesome. <laughs> um, splurging on somebody that you fancy and then realizing actually I'm not really that into you and I don't know why I'm trying to impress you because it's a waste of my resources, again, inner and outer. You know, it's about checking yourself with your values and having the chance to really re-evaluate them. When an eclipse happens in, in one of the houses, it's like a reset button. It gives you a chance to redo something or re-examine something, re-evaluate something. Um, 
could even come with the realization that money isn't everything. Um, I think on some deep human fundamental level, we all know this, we all believe it. However, we live in a 3D world. We live in a, ru uh, a rules and regulations world. Money is important, it is a necessity. I'm not gonna call it a, a, a necessary evil because it's not actually. Some of the things that people do for money uh, and the ways that they go about getting it, they can be quite evil. Um, you know, that's quite a strong word, isn't it? Ooh, I think it's probably gonna get quite a lot of backlash for that, but whatever, fuck it, I'm real. You know, I, I, I say what I feel and what I'm moved to say. Um, you know, and that's the truth of it, but the, the money itself isn't evil. It's about how people view it and the, the way that they use the device that money is. Anyway, um, you know, and this can see you, this eclipse can bring you the understanding that actually it's not everything. And once you have that understanding and you can release it in some way, it will start to flow to you even more because you're not grabbing at it. Nothing in life, people, pets, uh, lovers, partners, nothing likes to be grabbed. Nothing likes to be held onto. And if you're having that energy about money and you're projecting that energy, it's going to elude you. I don't want to be grabbed. I don't, don't touch me. <laughs> I hope you get what I'm saying. You know, I'm giggling about it, but I hope you get the, the deep understanding that I'm trying to, to put across to you. Um, so the interesting thing here is that you're having a realization and the energy that it produces within you is going to draw more, more prosperity and wealth to you over the next three months that follow. Your ideas and understandings about money and value and worth, self-esteem, self-worth and how they're directly linked to what you can earn and how much you can earn. Um, these are all things that are going to go through a, a big shake-up. These are all things that you're going to have a chance to reevaluate, and that's wonderful because hopefully it will see you really getting in touch with just what you have to offer and how much it truly is worth, how much you are worth, how much, um, you know, and I say this to everybody, if the world is a, a tapestry, it's made up of every single one of us, you know? The, the, the web of life is, is intricate and it's interconnected and it's made up of all these threads of wonderful, beautiful, exotic and different and strange and wonderful people. And you are one of those and your unique thread, I got goosebumps as I'm saying this because I feel it so deeply. Your unique thread in this grand tapestry that we call life is what makes it what it is. It wouldn't be this way if you weren't in it. So it's wonderful to have you. Um, value yourself, know your worth, and you'll see everything else around you in terms of the materials of life start to draw to you because you truly value yourself. You truly see your own worth. And that's a beautiful thing. Um, okay, money will start to come to you easier because you will start to respect it and view it in new ways. So through the second, uh, the second house, through the gaze or the guise of cancer, uh, sees you to take on an emotionally wealthy texture. Uh, it gives the ability to connect to wealth that life, to the wealth that life offers around you, and channel it into creating a more financially comfortable life by using this energy. And it is that process, it is that energy of reciprocity. It's gonna ask you to really, you know, when you fix the in here stuff, the out there stuff will just come and it will be easy and it will flow. And you will find yourself in that space of um, manifestation. You will find yourself in that process and understanding of, of how to create something from nothing. And when you're truly wealthy in here, in the emotional sector that, you know, through the guise of cancer, so cancer is emotional, it's feeling, it's intuitive, it's, it's understanding, it's accepting, you know, it's all of those things and it's warmth and it's comfort, it's, you know, it's all of that. And when you can come at or towards money through that, then it will start to respect you and love you back. You know, when you respect and love yourself in here, everything and everyone else can, can only but follow suit. And then finally, it could also see you setting yourself straight on what your values truly are. You know, I don't need to say any more than that. Um, what are your values? Where did you get them from? Why do you believe them? This is a chance to reevaluate all of that. 
So let's see what the tarot has to say for you, to you, around and about this eclipse. The tower. <laughs> Ooh! You know, people tell me, oh shit, the tower card. It can be, it really can be. But it's so liberating and it's so freeing. Uh, you know, because it blows up and pulls apart the things that just don't need to be there anymore. The things that, the values that you have that have been instilled, you know, in you from or someone or something else. The um, understandings that you have um, from someone or something else. The, um, the ways that you think and feel about yourself and what you are truly worth is all gonna start, you know, the tower comes in and says, no, that's all bullshit, that's all an illusion. You don't believe that anymore. That is an illusion. And I'm gonna break that illusion. I'm gonna crack that illusion. This card actually represents the planet Uranus. And Uranus is the great blaster, the revolutionary, the changer, the change bringer, you know, the, the, the change maker. And when you get the tower card, it's asking you to look past the illusion, it's asking you to crack that illusion so that you don't believe things that aren't real anymore. What do you believe about yourself and your self-worth that is just not true, or it's just not relevant? Because that's about to change. You're gonna get a chance to reset that. You're gonna get a chance to press the reset button. Gemini, I wish you an abundance of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance itself. Thank you so much, and I will see you very soon for more videos.